I'm getting mighty tired of your trifling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. Go ain't side. Go ain't sizing them up. Go ain't checking his temperature. Go ain't checking his temperature. For all time's sake. He gonna beat him with the first step. He about to eat his food. Mr. Fundamental. As time goes by. Charles Barkley back down. This for the game winner. This for the people. This for the people. Sing out, yeah. Back on, yeah. Back on them, Rima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's back on them. Every situation is a chance to grow. One more chance. And every sunrise, another chance to sow. One more Our day. hands inside, yeah. we making faro. Examine what you know. Peace to the family, peace to the family. My name is Brother Samal. And for wherever you might be in the world, I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, Welcome to another episode here at the Artist Journal. We're getting to it. So, so guys, family, uh, a couple of episodes ago, we interviewed Kohen Yosef, where he took us through the, the hillside and the mountains of Tiberias, took us up to Mount Arvel, and gave us a brief history on things, and just watching Kohen and his movements, super skillful, Talented, creative, got a lot to offer, got a lot going on, and I just felt it necessary to do another segment. So he brought a bottle of wine to the, the house the other day, and I was like, "Go oh, hey, we're gonna have to do a segment on the wine." So we're gonna go, we're gonna have a, a little tasting. We're gonna chop it up with Cohen for a bit kind of pick his brain on some things so stay tuned guys again we in top areas getting to it kind of like having fun kind of like doing it our way kind of like accumulating experiences life giving experiences yeah so heading up to the house now we're gonna get it in so family stay tuned please continue to like share and subscribe to the channel Help us hit that 10,000 mark. We're currently at 230 subscribers. But I guarantee we're going to get to that 10,000 mark. Peace, family. Stay tuned. So, on, okay. Well, what we doing? What we doing? Let's just look at what we got here on the table. Let me move this over. This is my wine label again i said that i started making wine after i came home to israel mm. the brothers were making it but it was not of a refined quality okay you know and everything that i do i try to refine it to the best speaking and of refinement did you did you make this uh this top right here yes i did okay it's a scoop <laughs> Excellent. What, uh, what would look like we got different flavors? What we yeah, got? Uh, well, these are just a few. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, six, seven, the name eight. of the company eight. Is, eight. is Three Kings? Three Kings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I did have uh, a couple of other brothers that were invested in the business at one time. But uh, 
we're not associated with it at this time. And in actuality, I'm gonna change the label. Okay. Uh, because it's not Three Kings anymore, it's just me. So well, what's the objective and goal for Three Kings? What you looking to do with it? I'm gonna change. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be a household name. You gonna get it out to the I'm public? I'm gonna change the name. That's what okay, I'm saying. Okay, okay. I'm changing the name. Mm -hmm. Because initially when I, before I, the other two brothers came into uh, the business, ah, okay. it was known as the Edenic Vintage. Okay. Edenic Vintage. So, so you're going, you're I'm gonna go back, back to, to Edenic Vintage. Okay. I'm gonna redesign the label and go back to Edenic Vintage. Okay. Yeah, but for now I'm using this label. Yeah. Uh, and this is, is a small example uh, according to the seasons. I make fruit uh, wines according to the fruit that's in season. Mm. And surprisingly, you can make wine out of almost any kind of fruit, yeah, depending on the conditions and so forth. The temperature, you know, uh, the time of the year, mm. all of those things matter. Um, wow. And uh, like I said, over the years, I learned. Wow. You you inspire me a whole certain kind of way, Queen. You know? yeah. I got I got you know I got to yeah. jump down and get busy like you. So, so wanna... you you created this wine. Yes. Mm -hmm. You created this garment. Yes. Is there anything else in here you created uh, from scratch? These glass tables. Uh, that's the things are sitting on. My plants are sitting on. And I made these <laughs> glass tables. Amazing. Uh, you wrote this book. Uh, Are you God? <laughs> it's funny you would ask that, right? Because I have a story, you know, when I was in America. Okay. Just after I had come into the knowledge of being a Hebrew Israelite, that I was actually asked that question one day walking down the street. Wow. Based on a seven-piece outfit that I had made. <laughs> <laughs> respect, respect. And, and uh, it was, it was just something, but I, I'm not going to go into that today. Respect, Cohen. You know, but, they say God is a creator, you know. It, well, it doesn't much that you that's, haven't created him. But we all are gods. Right, okay. We all are gods. We are a part of God. God is seen through us. Mm. It's like we are. And that's, we not a, teach. that's not a religious thing. That's not a religious thing. Mm. We are the temple of God. God exists through us. Come on. You understand? Because. If we didn't exist, who's going to be talking about God? Mm. Who's going to be Understood. talking about God? Understood. God exists in us. And when you read in the scriptures in the creation of Adam, man, he said he breathed the breath of life into him. That breath of life was what? That was a portion of God. Mm. We can't live without. And correct me if I'm wrong, Cohen, but Adam comes from the word Adom, right? Meaning, uh, or Adama, Adama, Adama. Meaning minerals. Meaning minerals. Okay. Right, absolutely. From the dust of the ground. Wow. You know what I'm saying? The earth, which means minerals, which have, as we see, creative powers. Right. Because what? All of your plants and everything come up out of the ground. Right. You understand? So, it's a whole lot that we're going to, you know, as time allows, go over and saying and open this thing up truth be told truth be told absolutely you know so what else you created Cohen? uh this china closet that you see here wow i didn't build it i didn't build it you refurbished it i refurbished it okay but i found it you know what i'm saying it was two pieces you come around front i situated it I placed a mirror behind it in these glass shelves and made it look like it was one piece. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, this is the second painting. I, I One time I had it painted black, but okay. now it's it's white, a grayish white. Is there any history behind these bottles? Yes, in fact, these three bottles here, this one, someone special gave to me, but I, I'm a collector of, you know, glassware mm -hmm. and bottles. I've always loved glass. But these particular, these four bottles here, uh, what we're going to do in a few minutes here, I have some wine here that we're going to do. When we're going to get to the good part. We're going to do a taste test. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And me and my wife, we, uh, 
in different times when we have guests, people coming in from America and different places to visit the community, when they come to Tiberius, we always host them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We provide them with so dinners your, your and So your family breakfast. is the go-to family here in Tiberius. In Tiberius. For when folk from the community want to come up, relax, wind down, they yeah. come see you. We run the guest house here in wow. Tiberius. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask this, if, if, if some folk from the States want to come to visit us, mm -hmm. they can come experience this themselves? They could come if, sit with if, you? If they come to the community, you okay. know what I'm saying, they're definitely going to have to come to Tiberius, and if they come to Tiberius, they got to come through here. Wow, okay, respect. Yeah. Man, maybe we're going to have to do a little tour, Cohen, this summer. Absolutely, you absolutely, know? without a doubt. No we, got a, we got a lot of following, so. Yeah. So we, what I would do with the guests is we would, if you look at all of my different glassware. Wow. It's like that, huh? I would use the little shot glasses and everybody would sit around the table and I would hide the labels. Mm -hmm. And they would, one at a time, you know, we would, Pass a little drop of So, Clay, let me ask, how, how powerful is the Yain? Well, I'll let you, huh? I'll let you <laughs> determine that. You know, I'll let respect, you express that. Respect, respect. Uh, but going back to these bottles, this is how I uh, got these bottles because the people were so impressed. Uh, it was uh, three sisters mm. that come through, and we sat around, and they enjoyed, you know, the test. Yeah, it was like a game, you know, because they had to guess each one and see who would guess the most, you know, wow. what flavors it was. And uh, they were so impressed because I brought out all of the different kind of bottles and everything. Mm -hmm. So when they got back to the States, they sent me these bottles. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's their gratitude, you know. For the oh, so they, they didn't want you to fill those bottles up for them? No, they <laughs> sent those to me, you know what I'm saying? Respect, uh, respect. Yeah. yeah. But... That's that. If you come this way, it's a nice little, nice little pad too. That's how they doing it in top areas, huh? All this space. Oh, what we talking about? Now over here, what we're looking at here, this is where the wine is procured or you know what I'm saying that goes through the stages of becoming wine from being fruit to mm -hmm. wine. You look at these three jugs here and you see they are different stages. This is after the fruit was uh, set. This is about uh, a week old. Okay. And you see the fruit has begun to separate mm -hmm. here. This is after the first sifting or uh uh, of the of fruit. So I pulled it out and we have a lot of uh, small, small pulp still left in the bottom. And then you see here that it's even less. Okay. The longer that it sits, it settles mm. and becomes clearer. And these are three different uh, flavors. This is uh, pomegranate. This is a combination of uh, uh, apricot and strawberry, and this is strawberry. So, Coin, at what stage is it ready to, to be consumed? Most wines, uh, if they're dealt with properly, uh, they become wine after a month. Mm. But they're not clear, you know, so okay. they're pretty, they're still cloudy and so forth. Three months, and you get a nice, pretty color, mm. nice texture, you know what I'm saying, wine and so forth like that. So what, At least three months. What's down here? This is, these are some uh, older uh, bottles of wine, strawberry, okay. that I did, you know, a couple of years back. Wow. Yeah. I was just about to ask that, what's the oldest that you have here? Yeah, this is about two and a half, three about years. Two and a half, three? Yeah. So what you saving that for, uh, a special occasion or? Yeah, uh, different times. Uh, brother's been asking me about uh, providing him with some wine for some affairs and things he want to do down in the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so so something like that, that's like a, 
like a three gallon or yeah this is this is uh yeah two and a half gallons actually excellent so how much something like that run well i would bottle it up i don't sell it like this okay you know what i'm saying like so how many bottles can you get out of one of those out of one of these uh, let's see you would get somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 14 bottles. 14 bottles? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Appreciate that, Cohen. So, Appreciate that. Now, we can go and sit at the table. You can tell me what you think. This is really special. Mm -hmm. Kind of glitched out, guy, but we back. And we already uh, sipped on this one. Beautiful uh, wine here is made out of rose petals. Rose petals, the flower. Who comes up with it? But the Kohen will say from Tiberius, Israel. I'm telling y'all this is a situation. Rose petals. So we were speaking how wine as an incent, what is it, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, an important part of Israeli culture or just the culture here in Israel overall. Eastern culture. Eastern culture, Eastern okay, culture. so it's not just an Israel thing. No, but okay. Israel is very much into, uh, they have a lot of wine like wineries, wineries, and uh, different people. You know, and we have a lot of people that make wine. You know, mm -hmm. Like I'm making it. Uh, okay. Not everybody is on the market, you know. Uh, but we have a lot of people that make wine here. And uh, like I was saying earlier, Israel just this past year, 2019, uh, won their first, you know, awards in uh, the European wine contest that they hold there annually. So, so they were very, very proud that, you know, they did that. So, Coyne, can you, do you see yourself with like three, four acres of land doing your thing? That's the plan. That's mm -hmm. the plan to, uh, at some point in time, okay. uh, and, Ooh. This smell like... Mm -hmm. You can almost tell by the smell, I know. You should be able to. I don't definitely, know why, definitely, but... Definitely, definitely the taste is gonna tell you. But it took my mind to like a... Like a myrrh. No, I don't know why. It, because, again, when you're making wines without all of those additives and so forth, every wine has its own distinct smell, has its own distinct color, mm -hmm. has its own distinct texture, and quite naturally taste. Cherry? Cherry. Bomb, man. I could literally sip on this for lunch, dinner. Mm -hmm. This would be more and just, you know, like a dinner wine, you okay. know, because it's very mild, you know what I'm saying, and it would, wouldn't would interfere mm -hmm. with your foods. Like a lot of other, you know, the first wines that we had, okay. they would actually, you know, like, throw your taste buds, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But this would mellow in with whatever you were eating. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, you know, classy wine, you know what I'm saying? So, Quinn, you know on certain bottles you would, you would see 5% alcohol, 14% alcohol. Mm -hmm. What would you rate yours? Um, the different fruit. Mm. And and again, 
uh, the time that you let these wines sit. I sold some wine to an Israeli. It had to be about five years ago. And he came back to me. He said, I still have some of that wine. Mm -hmm. He said, do you think it's still good? I said, of course, it'd never go bad because it's natural. But when they put all of those chemicals in, mm -hmm. all of the wines have a shelf, mm -hmm. a, life, a shelf life, their wines. But these wines don't have a shelf life. The longer that they sit, the better, better, better they get. Wow. Because it's a natural wine. Wow. So you don't have to put any natural preservatives or nothing. No preservatives. Just no. let it let it do its thing. Once it becomes a wine naturally, so not being encouraged by the yeast and all of those other things, because they're going to continue to affect, you know what I'm saying, the fruit. But the fruit in itself, you know what I'm saying, naturally so is just going to age when it's, you know, mm -hmm. stored properly. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Just letting it settle in, Coin. Like, I, I think the cherry, I like the other ones. Mm -hmm. but the cherry is by far the best right now for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know? Awesome, super smooth, and got a nice little, nice little hit to it. Mm -hmm. It just tastes good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And this cherry is about two years old. Wow, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I know a little something. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where Perea at? Oh, she's not here. Okay. <laughs> Where we at? We're on number five. No, but there's four. No, one, two, three, four. We're on number okay. five. There's only six Dang. bottles up here. Okay, yeah. respect. Lost count. It, it happened. <laughs> I said when you're having fun, time just get past you. Okay. I know this is a certain kind of way when it got the, the, the what is this, the little basket around it with the, <laughs> the Taj Mahal on top. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tastes like the, um, the grapefruit one a little bit. Because it's a very acidic. Mm. Something. Not trying to Orange? It's going to be very hard to. Pomegranate. I didn't have pomegranate out here, but I'll, I'll bring some. But you taste the pomegranate. Yeah. Passion fruit? No, but I do make passion fruit, but I haven't gotten any this season yet. It's not in season yet. I've made kiwi wine. Got me on this one, Coin. You ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. Drum roll. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you this clue. And you wanna say it, I know, because everybody's gonna give you this clue. They say it's a fruit. Oh, tomato. Wow, tomato tastes like that. When it turns <laughs> into a wine and been sitting for some time. <laughs> People, we done had fig wine today. We had rose petal wine, and we just tasted a tomato wine. Where they do that at? <laughs> tomato? Okay. I see what you're hitting on. That's why your jump shot are uh, so pure like that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to throw that up in here, Clay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, the game go on, go on and tell them about it. Go on and tell them about it. I don't mind. <laughs> you know, so. Cohen and myself and a uh, few other brothers went out to play ball last week. And he ended up dusting us all off. You know what I mean? What you wanted, the 21? 
No, no, no. 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 You won uh, the one on one. I won the two one on one games. Okay, right. Yeah. He dusts me off on the one on one, and another young brother he dusted off. And uh, I might play a little clip of that for you guys today. So yeah. stay tuned. But uh, your prime is what? Uh, 21. 21. 21. Thank you. 21. 21. And he ain't got the fake hot sauce handles and all that, but it super fundamental right here. Back them down, pump fake, lay up. Every time. And how old am I? That's a good question. How old are you, Greg? 67. Wow. 67. Matter of fact, if you don't mind, I'm gonna put a little clip of that and, and add it to this video. So that so the subscribers can see what 67 years old can do when you're hitting on all cylinders. When your diet is right, when you your spirituality is on point, in harmony with your environment. I'm gonna show you guys that. He beat me, and y'all know how I go. You ain't gotta got, say that. You ain't gotta got, say we that. We got a rematch. We got a rematch. We gonna keep it high, Cohen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, but it was fun. It was good. It was uh, we was playing ball up on a mountain, guys. It had um, it was an open space. It had two courts, but it had a big like gazebo on top. Mm -hmm. So we was just balling, having fun. It in the rain. In the rain. You know, rainbows everywhere. It was postcard type business. It, it was it was interesting, you know. And again, Israel is an African land. Mm -hmm. I cannot emphasize that enough. Only separated and divided by a man-made ditch called the Suez Canal, on which Kohen was uh, teaching us on the last episode, said that it was a man-made canal, I think back in like the 1840s or something like that. Uh, I forget the exact date, uh, but yeah, it was, you know, yeah. man-made for the purpose of supposedly separating Israel from Africa. Right. So really so they would be able to claim it as a European sovereign European. Yeah. The same plants, animals, um, people that you would find in Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, you find in Israel. You got you got black people here in Israel that never left the land. In Jerusalem, they have an area called Prison Gate Street. Right, that's right. Go where ahead. you have the actual Palestinian, not the one that you look at on the news every day, but you have the actual Palestinian that's darker than myself. Wow, okay. And they were the original Philistines that you read about in the scriptures. Because that's what Palestine is, the land of the Philippines, the Philistines. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh, and all of so these people... So prison they actually live there? They live there, and it's like a, a, a section that they're secluded to. Okay. They can go out, you know what I'm saying, but it's called Prison Gate Street because they're really confined there, you know what I'm saying, to a great degree. Mm -hmm. Confined meaning dictated by yeah, certain really, certain powers that be. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. So, right. yeah, I think I. Oh, this a, this a yeah, I put okay, something else okay, in okay, there. Okay, respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting that way. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See what's up with this one. This is the last one. This is well, if you wanted to be the last yeah. one, we got a, something else we could do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We haven't did the pomegranate, but you know about the pomegranate. That's why I didn't put it it's out. It's a new yet. day, coin. It's okay. a whole new day. So, it so, might hit different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's up to you. Mm. Did I say this one already? No, no. But you should, I mean, you should know this. But then if you're not a wine drinker like that. Great. Yeah. Okay. I saved this one 
Well, you just gave me the clue. I <laughs> said you should be. <laughs> you know? But yeah, this is this is the black grape. Black grape, wow, yeah. okay. Now, I also have uh, the red mustard grape over on the table, mm -hmm. and I have the green grape. Now, all of these are, are for sale, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Coyne, if, if someone from the States wanted to put in the order, is there a limit that they can get? Can they get like a case of four, six, twelve? Like, how, how, does, how would that work? Well, uh, I actually don't have a, 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 what do you call it, a, a international uh, license to be able, you know what I'm saying, to But to they could ship. package, you could, you can it'll package be a gift, it. right? I can package small amounts, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and send it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so family, if you guys are interested, we could do something small that we can get to you all. Just uh, email me at a good tree, a good tree at gmail, or you could just um, message me through the YouTube channel and uh, we make sure you get something. Right. Yeah. Well, Coyne, this is excellent. Mm -hmm. You know. So we can real quick just run through the names again that we, we tasted today. Okay. We just finished the black grape. Black grape. This was the tomato. No, no. Yeah, this is the tomato. And we had no, this was this was the tomato. Mm -hmm. tomato. This was the uh, pomegranate. I'm not pomegranate, but the uh you good, Coin? You all right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't got my bottles mixed up. You know, I got to look at the label. But this, this was the uh, pomelo and grapefruit. And grapefruit. Oh, so that was a mix. Yeah, those are two different fruits. Two different fruits. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this was the rose. We had fig, and we had the uh, what was the last one? Did we? This is the fig. Black grape. Black grape. Fig, tomato, rose. Rose, right, that's it. Okay. Is there anything that you want to share with the family before we get out of here, coin? As I always say, I appreciate the invite. It's a blessing. I'm feeling good. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm crazy. I'm well, crazy. Uh, we were talking about me, us being here in Tiberias. And how we actually came to be here in Tiberias was our spiritual leader, family Ben Israel, in 1991, after I had come back on a, from assignment in mm -hmm. Liberia. I had been on assignment in Liberia for three years. Okay. And uh, he asked me to come up and look at, you know, possibility of moving up into Tiberias because we wanted to expand the community and uh, I came up and I was sold mm. I was sold so why, the, why, why did why did Ben Ami choose Tiberias uh, Tiberias is a tourist area and as you've seen moving around it's beautiful oh yeah it has so many things H hands down hands you down. know but this is the most uh eventful place you know for vacations and so forth in all of israel because it has so many terrains so many things that you can do so many places you know from here um like i said uh, last week an uh, hour and a half away you can go skiing you know they have the rafting that you can do on the jordan river it's just so many things Beautiful, beautiful. There's waterfalls here. Camping. I think it's called Waterfall, right. Bonnius Falls. Mm. They have what they call uh, 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 the three pools, you know, in the uh, shoot out that hot water no, the spring. That's that's the uh, Kamakede. That's, you know, like a half an hour from here. But you can soak in those sulfur water coming out of the ground naturally so 
hot one, you know, and again, another healing process. But so many things, you know, this is a major tourist area, major historical area. Mm -hmm. So many historical events took place in this area. So that's why it's so significant. And uh, then me at that time, you know, he stated specifically that he wanted us to open up and establish something up here so that the people from the community and the guests that we would have would have some place to go. You understand? Well, as they would be, they would have some people that they could relate to. We would have the things that they wouldn't have to eat, you know, unfamiliar foods and so forth. But like I said earlier, we would provide the foods and different things, the bedding and so forth for them. And that's what we do here in Tiberias. Okay. And you didn't mention uh, Mount Arvell that we went to the Mark, other day. Mount Arvell. The Mount of Beatitudes? Mm, Beatitudes, okay. that's the mountain of transfiguration. Mount Tabor. Mount Tabor. Yeah. Okay, Koei, uh, before we get out of here, man, if you had seven, like I always ask, if you had seven billion people tuning in, because as the channel grows, more people are going to tune in. What would your advice or wisdom or just sharing some parting words, you know what I mean? Like, what would you say to that many people tuning in to you? I would say we're here as a testimony that the prophecies are real, that God is real, that the prophecies are real. Because... We were never supposed to get back to this land. We were never supposed to realize who we were as a people and get back to this land. But we are here because God is real, because the Bible is real, the prophecies are real. And you don't have to be afraid anymore because the season is now, according to the book of Daniel 2 and 44, the kingdom, of Yah has been established and it will never be destroyed. It will never be given to another people again because this time we're going to do it right. Mm. And you, as they say, don't have to worry because we came to prepare a place for you. And with that being said, Coin, mm -hmm. as I move around and you kind of see people rigid, nervous, scared, you walk past, they put their mask in a certain kind of way, but just observing you, you moving with a whole nother kind of energy and spirit, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't sense no fear from you. It's like you understand the time and season that we're in and you move according to, you know exactly. what I mean? Like, exactly. can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, okay. In fact, I was, posed the question a few days ago. The question was asked, what's the difference between inner peace and happiness? Is there a difference? And what you have to understand is inner peace is just that. Inner peace is when you find satisfaction in yourself, and in life in general because of your understanding of everything. And so with that, you can have inner peace. You can move like that and not be fearful, doubtful, and what have you because you know how to move now because things are made clear to you. We've been living with things being told to us that it's this way and it's that way and you know, and kept in the dark about a lot of things about ourselves. So you can't have inner peace as long as you're in doubt, as long as you're without clarity of things. So inner peace is having that clarity that allows you to deal with every given situation with calmness. Happiness is the expression of, you know what I'm saying, experiences, the joy of different experiences that you have. Go on, clear.
Truth be told. Truth be told. Mr. Truth be told. So I want to say thank you guys for tuning in. Another episode with Kohane Yo Safe. Want to say from myself and the subscribers, we appreciate you for having us. Um, please continue to like, share, and subscribe, guys. And uh, stay tuned for another episode. Peace.